This event is um, a flood expo which we put on to aim at those that had been affected by flooding themselves personally and we felt that there was a gap in the market where it needed to be more grassroots and be there to support those that have been flooded themselves. Events like Cumbria Flood Expo are so important to, for the community because it's a readily a access to many different expertise from all different areas uh, that maybe members of those communities wouldn't normally have access to themselves and it's so important to be able to, to speak to people and actually get real answers for the problems that exist. Well we came today because we've been flooded basically and we've taken precautions. We've done things like tank the house, we've got intelligent air bricks, we've even put up floodgates. But there are some gaps in our defences. We came to look to see what's available. And perhaps more important than that, there are things we don't know that we don't know. Hence the visit. I think that people are here to care and share information. It isn't hard sell. It's about making people's lives a bit better, helping solutions that will help them rather than that hard sell. What I hope that people will take away from this is they will come here and think, actually, I didn't know that. It's been worthwhile me coming here. Um, I've gone to see Andy Brown talk at the EA or Mary Donna speak in one of the lectures and what she's told me, I can actually take that away and go and implement that. As soon as we found out about the, uh, the expo, we realised Kerry Ann and the team do such a fantastic job up here supporting the residents and the people that have been affected that they actually in turn deserved some support from some of the companies you know that are working within that area. By coming to the Flood Expo I want to give the members of the public the information they need so they're empowered to get the right settlement, the right claim that they're looking for when it comes to making the insurance claim and not being a victim of the insurance company's policies, procedures and systems that are designed to minimise the insurance company's liability. So we've had a surprising amount of footfall, it's been a really positive day. Um, we've had a lot of people, members of the public and members of the community come in asking lots of questions about lots of different uh, flood products and services that, that different people can provide. Um, we're seeing this as one of the last chances to be able to promote the flood grant. Events like this are massively important. Coming to this event today has you know, given me a very good insight into flood uh, and flooding within the community. And from our perspective, it's about the health aspect, um, so how we can support the community and work in collaboration with the exhibitors that are here today, but also the members of the public who came to, our, to the talk earlier today. So it's that knowledge exchange and being able to collaborate. Yeah, we'd do, it, we'd do this event again. We've had a great two days. Uh, we've been able to speak to lots of different residents about lots of different things, but not just barriers, you know, and flood protection products that we or other companies might be able to provide but to be able to get a better understanding of what they've gone through.